The measure passed 20 to 8. It had bipartisan support coming out of committee, but tonight several members voted against it based on the city budget problems. Lawmakers estimate it will cost $200,000 to a million dollars a year. Before the council vote, a group of supporters stood outside hoping their voices would be heard. New at 11, police need your help catching two robbers. The men in the surveillance images were using the victim's stolen credit cards. The victim told police he heard a knock at his patio door, and when he went to it, a man was pointing a gun at him. He was ordered to open the door, and two robbers came in. They tied him up and then ransacked the home. If you know who the men are, call police immediately. A Peru couple is under arrest right now for what investigators say they did to two teenage girls. 40-year-old Carl Wickstrom and 36-year-old Leslie Wickstrom are accused of repeatedly committing sex acts on two 13-year-old girls. He is charged with child molestation and child solicitation, while his wife is facing charges including child molesting. A blame game is going on among Homeland Security agencies tonight over a massive breach at a giant airport, JFK, in New York. A man was out jet skiing when the craft broke down. He then swam towards the lights, which ended up being JFK Airport. Without security intervening, he walked across two runways and all the way up to a terminal. Airport officials say they are stepping up security and boat and perimeter patrols. Just hours from now, you can bid on a surplus of lost items from the Indianapolis Airport Authority. The auction starts at 9 a.m. at the Maintenance and Operations Building. You can get massive items like shuttle buses, even a fire rescue truck, down to electronic devices like computers and iPads. And you don't even have to be in attendance to bid. The auction is offering live online bidding. Just head to AAAAuctionService.com. Take a live look at the Allisonville Bridge Construction Project at 465. We have some good news for you commuters traveling through here. Crews expect to reopen that entrance ramp from southbound Allisonville Road to westbound Interstate 465 anytime now. The other ramp onto eastbound 465 should open by Friday. Good news for a lot of commuters yeah, on that indeed. side. Coming up, new information coming out in the Texas A&M shooting that left three people dead, including an officer. A $2 million toy heist. How a mother and her son almost got away with it. And as you know, July was just flat out hot all the time. Variability is part of my forecast in the next seven days. 82 the high today. Find out when we zoom close to 90 and then cool off after that. And after weather, another historic achievement for Coach Bob Knight, the term attributed to him that's now being added to the dictionary. I'm Donette Cruz with your Sigler traffic update. Watch for daytime lane restrictions over on the city's southeast side this week. You will have the right lane closed, 74 eastbound at Post Road. Tune in tomorrow. We'll talk about traffic stops in the Fishers area. That's all coming up on Good Morning Indiana.
U.S. Representative Jesse Jackson Jr. may not return to office. A Minnesota-based clinic reports it's treating Jackson for bipolar disorder. It says Congressman Jackson is responding well to the treatment and regaining strength. Representative Jackson has been on medical leave since early June. A spokesperson had said Jackson would return to his district.